I'm Brad, I'm with Air Components and Systems, account manager covering the uh, Charlotte area and surrounding. And I'm here to talk to you today about um, installation of your compressed air equipment. When you purchase compressed air equipment, it's a large investment. We want it to operate properly for a long period of time and a very important aspect of that is the installation piece. Installation includes mechanical, electrical, and cooling or ventilation. Today I'm going to talk about those three aspects and, and the best ways to, to do those aspects of the installation. Start with mechanical. Mechanical is the piping. Uh, piping is very important. Placement of the equipment is very important. You should place the equipment with three feet around all sides of each piece of equipment. Um, piping is, is installed uh, based on the outlet of the air compressor. That's the size pipe that you should use. There are many different types of pipe to use. You can use stainless steel, you can use galvanized, you can use aluminum, you can use copper. Do not use PVC for compressed air installation. It is not recommended. It will um, get brittle and break and crack over time and could actually explode in your plant, causing serious damage. Another important aspect of uh, the mechanical or piping installation is the tank. Where to place the tank and how to pipe the tank. The tank can be placed as a dry tank or a wet tank, depending on your preference. Um, the piping needs to go in the bottom of the tank and needs to come out the top of the tank. Electrical installation is a very important part of the installation process. If we don't have the correct electrical supply, your equipment will not operate and function correctly. We can help with that. There's a data plate on the air compressor that tells you uh, the power supply, the voltage, the amperage, that kind of thing. And we can also provide an uh, engineering data sheet that gives you all the electrical um, information that you would need. Please share this information with a licensed electrician. Have that licensed electrician check your current uh, power supply. If it doesn't suffice, you will need to install the correct power supply to make sure that your equipment operates for a long period of time. Finally, there's cooling and ventilation. A cool compressor room is very important to the longevity of a compressed air system. If temperatures in a compressor room reach more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit or less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit, there could be issues. The way we take care of this is you can put ventilation in the walls and fans or you can do duct work to uh, draw that hot air out of the room in the summertime when the temperatures reach, uh, reach 90 degrees and above. Or you can, in the wintertime, when the temperatures get close to freezing or even below freezing, you can take that ventilation you can send that hot air back into the room to help with, with the heating of, of the room. The temperature of the room can severely impact the operation of the equipment. If it gets too cold, it can cause the air compressor and even the dryer to freeze up. And if it gets too hot, it'll, um, it can cause the air compressor to overheat and will actually um, not allow the dryer to operate as it should if it reaches certain higher temperatures. Um, like I said, we can use ventilation to remove this hot air to keep this from happening in the summertime, or we can send hot air back into the room to keep the freezing from happening in the wintertime. We would love to sit down and talk with you about this. We can help you with ventilation. We can help you with the installation of it. We can do the installation of it if that's what you would want from Air Components and Systems.